Hello guys. So now what we will do is the following. We will understand uh, more about correlation. Okay. So what is correlation? Where did it finally come out? I told that R is actually defined. The correlation is defined as R square other is SXY by SSX. Uh, SS or actually by SSY, SYY, this right? So just uh, ignore my tongue twister and stuff. Uh, stuff. Okay, whatever. So uh, R is again SXY by lower the variance, uh, the standard deviation, the standard deviation X and standard deviation Y, right? So we understand where this is suddenly comes on from. So you should remember that from normal equations, we got the following results. Let's try to see them go back. We got that y i this, this will need this two, and we got the beta one hand. Okay. So let's try to understand that in much more details. So we have got these three equations. Which three equations? First one is y one hat is equal to beta not hat plus beta one hat into x i. We also got y bar equal to beta not plus beta one hat into x bar, and we have got the beta one hat is equal to SXX by SY SA. SXY by SXX, let's say. Okay. So, um, you know what we, let's see what we can explore from here. So, the I, I should try to understand, observe that we have a data like this. What we do, this is a mean expert of Y bar, say. This is a YI. So, what we do is standardize YI, okay? To the y i so let's try to understand why my why i had minus y bar okay. let's try to understand that for you why i had minus y bar we get what we get beta not gets cancelled we don't have we get beta one hat in place sign minus x bar let's write down beta one hand we write down beta one hand is s x x by s x y by s x x into x i minus x bar what will we standardize x standardize x what we need we need to divide with the standard deviation s y y and we need to divide by s x x for that what we need to multiply we need to multiply 1 by s y y and we need to multiply s x x okay, so what do we get let's see so these are the extra terms over here. Let's combine this two, and we get the following beautiful stuff. Y I had minus Y bar by root over S Y Y is equal to S X I minus X bar by root over the standard is X and the standard is Y into also it's X S X Y by root over S X X root over S Y Y. Beautiful, yeah. So this is actually what we call a R. This is the correlation coefficient. So why is it naturally go? So if it means that this correlation coefficient, this means if you can rewrite the equation, it means this. So it's standardized y, let's call it standardized y s y i, okay? And let's call s x i is a standardized x. So observe it s y i. That's still R times SXI. So of this sort of the correlation, so it sort of gives us an idea how much X is actually dependent, how much like how much X varies to get so with how much value in X to the rest of the standard deviation of the X data, Y will that can this is the basic idea. Okay, what if we get? But before that, we will get to understanding what is meaning of regression towards the mean. But before that, let's do the proof of correlation, like the inequality of correlation, okay? okay. Perfect. So let's try to do the inequality of correlation now. What is the inequality? So we have got what? We have got R equal to SXX by root over SX, SXY by root over SX. X by lower is this why I'm doing I'm straight wrong every single time. No why. So 
Anyways, <laughs> so now what should we do? We something called a Kochi Nikol, Kochi Squads Inequality. I may be very wrong with the different the spelling of scores. I do it every time wrong. Let's try to understand what is the Kochi Squads Inequality. Tell us in the simple following thing. Summation EI is square from 1 to n, the summation BI is square from 1 to n. Greater than equal to summation EI and BI, okay? But AI and BI are what? Are real numbers. And equality holds if and only if. Remember the statement it's required here. AI by BI is equal to constant for all I. It's here. Yeah. So it's called inequality and it's a very beautiful inequality. I love this. It can be interpreted in terms of vectors. Okay, that's why it is R as a relation with the vectors. Okay. So uh, how it's interpreted because it's inequality in the following manner. That I C is a vector A, A is equal to A one dot A N and B is equal to B one dot B N. The dot product of this is this and the length of this modulus of A square and this modulus of B square. Dot product of A vector dot B vector is actually so the idea is that the product of this by modulus of A by modulus of B is actually cos theta. Okay. Actually, it's uh, I think it's square. Yes, I have done it wrong. So therefore, uh, therefore the idea is that cos theta of the angle can easily prove it by geometry, which by cos theta of the angle then a vector dot B vector. I modulus of A and modulus of B is actually less than equal to Y and rather than equal to minus 1. And it's, if you take it square, A dot B whole square by modulus of A square modulus of B square is less than equal to 1. And it's actually, if you just expand it, this is a dot product, A dot B, and this is the modulus of A square modulus of B square, this is equal to the So this is a proof of course, what's inequality terms of the we will see that how it's related here. We'll prove as I already told as I already told you. Let's try to understand this. R is equal to S X X S over X Y Y and over S Y. So it's sort of S X is what? It's summation of X i minus X R. Winding it from one to n, full square. Okay, so it's sort of X i minus X this thing, right? Sort of it's actually the product of the x quantities for well, modulus of the x quantities, okay? S y y is actually summation of 1 to n y i minus y bar. Actually standardized, is not standardized what like mean with the mean changes. Mean for solving with respect to the mean, okay. So and what is x y y? X uh, s x y it's summation of 1 to n Psi minus x bar times y i minus y bar. So we essentially dot product of x dot y, right? Dot product. So as you understood from the diagram, that x dot y by by the logic squares inequality, what will we get? We'll get that summation of x psi minus x bar times y i minus y bar is less than equal to summation of x psi minus x bar whole square. It's actually whole square over here. And it's summation of y i minus that handwriting y bar whole square. This is a cause is causing equality just from here. The, what is with me here is it is x y whole square by s x x by s x y is less than equal to one. And he used that r square is going to be less than equal to one. Also gives the modulus of r is less than equal to one. It also gives that r is less than equal to one and less than equal to minus one. They give proof. Now also you're going to understanding that this is sort of the modulus of y whole square. The modulus of x whole square and modulus which is x sad or y except to y at their whole square. And when it is equal, when the r is equal, actually the r is equal, it's equal to, so r is equal to 1, r squared is equal to 1, if and only this equality holds. That means the xi minus x bar by y minus y bar is equal to some lambda. 
It means yi is actually some linear function of alpha plus gamma of x. Yi and x. You can understand from here, right? For all i. So this is the idea that it's equal to 1 if and only if r squared equal to 1 if and only if the corresponding yi and x is a linear. And this is the beauty of it, okay? And geometrically, it means that what it means, they're equal when the two vectors are equal. When the two vectors, the dot product is equal to 1. It's only happening if a and vector and y vector are aligned with each other. That means cos theta equal to 1. Cos theta equal to 1, if and only the theta is equal to 0. Right? That means they are parallel to each other. They are actually aligned with each other. So essentially, the vectors are multiple of one another. That's the basic idea. So this is the beauty of the geometrical aspect of correlation, okay? So that's what we get from here, SX and Y and SXX, how it is in to each other, okay? But the geometrical part, this makes much more sense, I guess. Okay. So now, I'm basically regression towards the So what we got from this previous video, guys, we got that, if you observe it very carefully, we got this, right? This last one. So what we get, let me write it out here, y1 minus y bar, y root over s y1 is equal to r times x i minus x bar y root over s x x. What does it need? It needs that. Now, I to understand it. Suppose this is equal to 1. That means this is equal to r, right? Now, r squared is less than equal to 1. Modulus of r is actually less than equal to 1. So what does it mean? That modulus of yi minus y bar by root over x sign is actually less than or equal to modulus of this, right? That means the more, so even if this is large, I mean, even if this is 1, it is actually less than the So if x changes a little bit also by 1, y changes less than or equal to 1. So on the x layer, it means that if Take an x if x changes by one standard deviation from the mean. Okay, that means it's equal to one. Then y changes less than equal to one standard deviation from the its mean. That means y is regressing towards the mean much more. Okay, because of this R. This is the idea of why y is regressing towards the mean. Okay, the y is regressing regressing towards the mean due to this. The this is the basic idea, guys. Okay. So the predicted value, the stereo for its average by fewer standard deviations than the predictor. This is the perfect language. The predicted value changes or deviates fewer standard deviations than that of the predictors. So this is a basic idea, guys. So this is all about Wow, what is regression? What is correlation? Why it's told why it's told like regression towards a mean? And what is the beauty and inequality and geometry of correlation? I'm sure this this is one of the things I really loved when I learned about it. I'm sure you must have loved it too. Okay. I see you in the next video with the estimation parts of beta half and beta one half. And then we go on to one of the most important inequalities and let's see what's coming. Stay tuned and stay blessed. See you in the next video. Bye bye.